Hello students, welcome to iExamB. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss any update on the upcoming videos that we release. This is a very very relevant video for the students who are going to appear for the RBI Grade B DEPR 2023 examination. Here in this video, I will be discussing a very misunderstood topic in econometrics which is the p-value a lot of times students are confused that what exactly is the p-value is it same as the alpha value and if not then what is the difference between this p-value and the alpha value what do you really understand by the p-value so p-value is the probability value in very simple terms to understand now what kind of probability value is this so p value is the probability value that is observed in your sample so there is a population and out of this population you collect samples to do regression analysis or when you are doing hypothesis testing to infer something about the population now when you have collected samples out of this particular population the observed effect in your sample is given by the p-value there is a condition here also that provided your null hypothesis should be true so what do you understand by null hypothesis before understanding p-value the understanding of null hypothesis should be more clear so null hypothesis is the claim okay it's the assumption that the researcher or the experimenter is making about the population so it's a claim let's say a claim could be let's say 90 students scored marks above let's say 75 any any kind of claim that could be there which the experimenter or the researcher is making about your population that is called your null hypothesis now given you assuming that your null hypothesis that your assumption or the claim is true then you find out the p-value which is the probability that there will be an observed effect this is very important so p-values in short are calculated on the basis of the samples that you have collected on the basis of the sample data and given that your null hypothesis is true so let's say if, if this is the null hypothesis h naught this is the distribution for the null hypothesis you assume that the null is true and then you find that what would be the p value the probability value that there is an observed effect in your sum so for instance if you look at this diagram here the more likely observations are centered in the middle here and here very unlikely observations are there towards the left and towards the right of this set of possible results and this is plotting the probability density this is giving you this graph is giving you the distribution of the possible results so here the p value is this shaded area this green region that is observed assuming that your null is true here so the observed data point will be given by this but the probability value is given by this area this green area the shaded area towards the right of this particular point so if there is a lower p-value this would mean that you have an evidence against the null hypothesis so there are two possibilities one is that you know if whether your p-value is greater than your alpha value alpha is called the level of significance so here the difference between p-value and the alpha value is that p-value is the observed level of significance whereas the alpha value is the acceptable level of significance so what is the distinction between these two is that alpha value is set by the experimenter by the researcher it is the acceptable level of significance which the researcher is allowing for so this is giving you the level the probability value with which the experimenter is allowing for any errors however observed level of significance is what you actually observe in your data set so if your p value is let's say less than the alpha value which is the significance level then in that case you reject the null hypothesis why do you reject the null hypothesis because see here in this diagram the green line here gives you the observed result or the value and the significance threshold 
corresponding to the significance level is given by this point and this green dot gives you the observed p value so clearly here what is happening is that the p value the probability value this area is less than the alpha value which includes this area as well so here in this case you will be rejecting the null hypothesis and you will conclude that your test was statistically significant statistically significant when is something significant when it is relevant so when you reject the null this means that the assumption or the claim that you made was incorrect in other words the sample that you have collected right you are getting evidences from this sample that in your population that at the population level you can reject this null hypothesis that the assumption or the claim that you initially started with can be rejected in your sample because in your sample the evidence is so strong and had it been the case that your p value is greater than the alpha value then in that case you cannot reject the null hypothesis because the evidence in your sample would not be strong enough to reject the null hypothesis and and in that case the assumption or the claim uh, that you have made in your null you cannot reject it you have to accept the null thus this is what is meant when we say that there is if there is a lower p value that means there are evidences against the null hypothesis and that's why you reject the null lower would be your p values the probability values i hope now the idea of what exactly is a probability value and what exactly is the alpha value is clear alpha value gives you the level of significance which is acceptable which is set by the experimenter in his analysis in his experiment before this is the percentage of error that i will allow alpha is also called the type 1 error which is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis provided your null was true so given that the null was true there could be an error that you might be committing while doing the research that you might reject it but although your null was true so that kind of error is called the type 1 error which is also called the alpha level of significance which is acceptable by the experimenter hence it is called the acceptable level of significance whereas p value is the observed level of significance in the sample that you have collected so i hope now the understanding the distinction between p value and alpha value is clear now we also have a very good uh, classroom course for the rbi grade b dpr examination you can also go through our successful student strategy of this year uh, examination as well as of last year examination to know more and we also provide a detailed uh, course for your rbi dpr examination where we also provide ga classes as well as english classes as well as guidance for uh, descriptive english there are about 1600 questions uh, mcqs that are provided to you in the form of mock test uh, chapter test and section test in addition to that you get uh, video lessons as well as notes in the course so if in case you are interested uh, we are also running a flash sale today you can uh, use this particular code and enroll for the course if you like if you are interested in any other guidance for any of the courses you can contact on this number or you can also email at this particular email id or you can also visit our website where you can find further information about different courses thank you